So today we're going to talk about the top three juicers that the medical medium recommends. So when we first started Medical Medium almost three years ago, there was no real like juice juicer recommendation. Medical Medium wasn't really recommending any juicer. Maybe it was and we just didn't know about it. But uh, the one thing he, he stood by and he still stands by today is any juicer is going to work just fine. For, for getting the job done, juicing your celery and juicing all the wonderful other juices that, that Anthony William Medical Medium he recommends. Yeah, so we started off, we tried a few different centrifugal juicers and then we went to a masticating juicer and then finally settled on the juicer that we have now, which is one of the three juicers that we're going to be talking about today. Um, and if you want to learn more about our juicing journey, you can check out the video um, where we talk more about that. So the three juicers that Anthony recommends, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing them across the board. They're all masticating juicers, so we know that. And what we're going to be comparing is the juicing uh, process and, and, and how it gets gets processed once you put the, the fruit or the vegetable inside of it. And then we're going to be talking about the yield. So, okay, you put it inside, now how much am I actually going to get out of it? Then we're going to talk about, okay, we've got it now, let's, let's look at the quality. How is my, you know, how is my quality of my juice? How does it taste? Is it sweet? Is it bitter? That can, that can make a whole big difference, especially when you're juicing celery juice. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the thing everybody hates, which is cleaning <laughs> it up, right? The cleanup, it sucks, but there are some of these juicers that make it make its job a whole lot easier and quicker. Yep, yep. And then we're going to talk about the uh, warranty and then Finally, we're going to end by talking about the price and how much each one of these juicers costs. And then we'll talk about which one we recommend and which one we ended up purchasing. Yep. So the three juicers that we're going to be talking about are the ACOC, the Omega, and the Green Star. So let's first talk about how the juice is processed with each of these three juicers. So the ACOC and the Omega use a single gear to break down and separate the fiber from the juice. And then the Green Star uses a dual gear. So what does that mean with your juice? Your yield. So uh, you end up getting a bigger yield the, the more gears. You think about that celery juice going into that juicer, well when it's going in with like an Omega or an ACOC you're just getting processed, that celery is just being, being smushed and broke down um, by one gear. With like the Green Star, it has dual gears, so that's going to give you a, a higher yield because it's breaking it down twice instead of breaking it down once. So the quality of the juice with all three juicers is pretty much the same across the board. They're all masticating juicers, which means that they have lower RPMs, which is rotations per minute. And you want those low RPMs because if it's higher or faster, that is going to cause your juice to oxidize or die much quicker. So the lower the RPM, the better it is and not causing it to have oxidation. And we talk more about this in one of our other videos if you want to check that out. Yeah, and so you can, if you've, if you've juiced celery before and you maybe have made it in a blender, 
Sometimes when you make it in the blender, you see like separation or cloudy, chunky cloudiness above and a browning below. And that can be caused by uh, your juice oxidizing and separating. All right, now let's talk about the thing that you all dread, right? The cleanup. So you just got done juicing your celery juice, you're just getting ready to enjoy it, but man, you've got all this mess that you now have to clean up. <laughs> and it sucks, right? We've all been there. So the cleanup, what we've learned in our research is that the ACOC and the Green Star, they both have uh, more parts than the Omega. And therefore, the ACOC and the Green Star, they take longer to clean up. Uh, and the Omega wins on the clean, clean up side, hands down. So for the warranty with the juicer, we wanted to make sure that our new juicer came from a company that's been around for a long period of time. Yeah, and when we were doing our research, we discovered that the ACOC juicer had been around, or copyrighted, I guess, the name ACOC got copyrighted in 2015, but prior to that, there's no sort of record of, of them making juicers. So we think it's 2015, they're made in China, and uh, they come with a two-year warranty. And then you've got the Green Star. In the Green Star, it has a 12-year warranty. And they've been around since like 1994. And then you've got the Omega. And the Omega has been around since 1985 and they give a 15-year warranty. So that's a big deal. Let's talk about the prices of all three of these juicers. Okay, we'll start with the ACOC. That's, we're gonna start with that one, number one. That is your lowest cost option. And lowest cost, what I mean by that is it's about $100. I saw it this week on Amazon for under $100. So it's a great option. And then the Omega comes in at the middle price range, just around $270. And then the most expensive one is going to be your Green Star, and your Green Star comes in at around $525. Okay, so let's summarize. First of all, understand that all of these juicers are going to produce great quality celery juice. Yeah, I mean, Seriously, like the, the, the ACOC juicer, it's under $100 and it's a masticating juicer. So you're gonna get great quality juice and it's under $100. So if you're on a budget, it's a great starter juicer. And then eventually, when you get more serious about this and you wanna start juicing other things, then you upgrade and get an Omega or get a Green Star. When we were looking into buying a new juicer, we just couldn't justify spending $250 more on a Green Star versus the Omega. Yes, with the Green Star, you are getting another gear and a higher yield, but I mean, we yeah. just... We're just juicing celery. Yeah. We're doing it twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, that's it. And then maybe we'll, we'll make some other juices here and there, but we're not juicing anything that is like root crop, like beets or anything like that, that would require the second gear. We're, you know, just doing the celery yeah. juice. Yeah, so you might have guessed that we decided to purchase the Omega because we found that it was just better overall and fitting to our needs. The Omega juicer, to have the best warranty, they've been in business the longest period of time, and if you go on the Omega website, they actually have a juicer on their website that's specific for 
so reduced. Yeah, we thought that this was so great that this company is promoting celery juice and that they've made a machine that's specific for processing celery. Anthony, he even uses the Omega as his personal juicer. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We're sending healing vibes to everybody out there. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.